Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm the captain of the division and right now we're going to compare two headsets and my personal opinion on them too. The A10 plus Mixamp M60 and also the Afterglow AG9. Some of you guys may know, I'm a live streamer. The ability to hear sounds in the game will greatly change everything about the game from hearing footsteps to firing everything crappy headset you may suffer in, in game quality in your performance in uh, winning the game such as PUBG, Fortnite, Apex, stuff like that so I've been using the Afterglow AG9 I just purchased the A10 plus Mixamp M60 these are going to be my personal opinions on both of them unedited video just normal recording um, all those jump cuts and edits I hate those. All right, so the Afterglow AG9, fantastic sound. I love it. The bass, everything has shrouds down, makes it feel like you're in the movie. Uh, the one thing that I found uh, negative about this headset is when you turn the Xbox on, there's a chance that the earmuffs could be backwards. But the head, the microphone only comes out one way, so you have to restart your Xbox. Uh, and see if it comes back the proper way. Um, if you try joining a game immediately when I start streaming, there's a chance where everything's just gonna be backwards and I gotta restart. So what I have to do every game, every time I, before I stream, turn the Xbox on, test the headset, make sure the earmuffs are right. If they're not, I gotta restart the Xbox, hopefully they're right the next time. And um, there's no push to talk mute thing anywhere other than the button right here. And I'll show that to you right now. So if I have the headset on like this, and it's backwards, well, this microphone, you can't hear anybody, you can't talk to anybody if the microphone's shooting out that way. And you can't bend it, okay? You'll break the, the microphone, I tried doing that. Microphone broke. So the only push to talk is here, but it also makes a really loud beep sound. So if you're on somebody else's stream, uh, unmuting and muting, it's gonna make a really loud beep sound. But other than that, this headset has great audio. I love it. You can hear everything. Bass is amazing. Other than the headset earmuff switching, that's pretty much the main thing I don't like about that. All right, let's go into the, uh, the, the A10. A10, okay, it's uh, the A10 plus Mixamp M60. Here it is them right up there okay weight wise they're very similar okay if you ever held the AG9 you know it's pretty heavy it's it's heavy the A10 is also just as heavy okay pretty cool what this is you flip the microphone off up all the way and it mutes the AG9 it doesn't do that another thing about this headset is the adapter that it comes with. The A10 comes with this handy adapter so you can mute, unmute, change the uh, the volume right here, volume up, volume down, increase the game sound, increase the voice sound. So you can quickly you can quickly mute right here if you're talking to somebody on another stream or your own stream or people in the video game you mute them right there with your thumb. Just real quick, bam, mute. You don't have to worry about it. Or if you're getting into a big battle, hit the game button. It increases the game volume right there on the spot. Or if you're just talking to somebody, just hit the voice button a few times, and you're going to be able to hear a voice a lot better. Uh, you know, AG9 doesn't have that. I bought the Turtle Beach adapter, and I got an auxiliary cord to try to uh, use it. It didn't work. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work on this either. So I have a feeling that the Afterglows, because they're a USB flash drive, uh, you cannot connect uh, an auxiliary into a headset. I don't. I mean, with a with a controller, I don't know why. But yeah, there's that. Now the sound on this headset, it's not as great as that one. I'm telling you that the Afterglows. 
Afterglows has amazing bass. I'm telling you, like, crazy amounts of bass surrounds down. You're going to be hearing things for days. You're going to be hearing things all the way across to Egypt from where you're at. Uh, this, it lacks bass. It does. Um, and sometimes it's kind of hard because, you know, I'm so used to the bass sound and, and hearing a headset without as much bass as that one, it definitely will throw you off. So if you're, if you're spoiled on that headset with the sound quality and you go ahead and get this one, it's going to throw you off a little bit. Um, but being able to mute and unmute on the fly, that's pretty cool. Not going to lie. Pretty cool. And actually, I've been told the microphone quality on the A10 is a little bit better than the Afterglow. So in my opinion, if I'm with a party and I need to push the talk on the fly, this I'll use. If I'm playing by myself and I don't need to talk with anybody, this is the one you can use. And you know what? The microphone pops out. Okay, so you're not hindered hindered by the microphone. Now let me check the A10s. Make sure the A10s, nope. Yep, I don't want to break it. The A10s don't do that. After Glow AG9s, if I want to talk to somebody real quick, microphone back in just like that, and we're all set. Yep. Now, if you guys want to leave your comments down below, uh, what your guys' thoughts and interactions are, um, go ahead. Uh, and so, just to recap, Afterglow, great bass, great audio. Uh, it has a problem where it switches e -muffs, uh, the earmuffs when you start the Xbox and you have to do a hard reset to fix it. I've tried everything with the USB. I tried everything with the microphone to fix it. Uh, the only way to fix it is with the hard reset. And that kind of gets annoying. The A10s are fantastic for a group environment if you're talking to somebody and you need to mute and unmute for your stream so the people in the party cannot hear you so both I'm going to be using like crazy so um, you know it just depends on the, the situation like comment subscribe follow me on twitter at the division 454 and you guys have a nice day